welcome to the Youth Friendly Community What's That Got to Do With Me workshop. Uh, we're here today because Parks and Recreation Ontario and communities across Ontario are saying we need to give staff a few more tools in their back pocket that they can understand better uh, what the, youth, the needs of youth are today. We're going to spend about an hour and a half to two hours talking about youth and getting to know each other as well. People who work with youth tend to have all of the answers because they've done it, they've been there, and they've seen it. And a lot of times, uh, learning in this environment comes from your own experiences, not just from me standing up here. My name is Brenda Whitehead, and in my full-time life, I'm the Director of Economic and Community Development in the township of Cabin Monaghan, which is a small uh, rural community just south of Peterborough, north of Port Hope, just to give you the geographic. It's also home to me. I grew up in that area, uh, not right in Cabin Monaghan, but within a half hour drive. So uh, for those of you in Toronto, I know that a half hour is like two city blocks. Um, for us, a half hour is, you know, a little bit bigger. Um, but really for me, I'm here because I believe I'm a youth champion. I spend a lot of time advocating for youth, working with communities um, on their needs in developing youth strategies and long-term uh, youth care uh, products. And I believe that everybody has a role to play in making sure youth have a safe place to play and a safe place to grow up. So that's why we're here today. We're going to give you some of those tools. You can see just by looking around the room that we've got a nice diverse group of people, people who work with younger ages, preparing for that 13 to 19 year old uh, conundrum, if we could call it that today. Um, and then we've also got uh, uh, not-for-profit organizations, municipalities, we've got cities, we've got uh, rural communities. Everybody in Ontario is working with youth, and, and these are tools that we can use. We're here, like I said, for about uh, one and a half hours uh, for the training today. And the plan is to do lots of interacting, uh, you giving me examples and us learning from each other as we go. Okay? All right. We're going to, uh, before we go on to what is a youth-friendly community, we're going to do a bit of an icebreaker because all, commun or all uh, workshops have to have an icebreaker. Okay? This is a pretty simple one. Again, it's a stand up, sit down activity. Okay? And so I'm going to give you, it's called Would You Rather. Some of you may have played this before. So I'm going to say something like, would you rather do this? And if I say this, then you're going to stand up. Or would you rather do this? You're going to sit down. So some of you will stand, some of you will sit. If you're kind of on the line and you don't know, I want you to lay on the floor. I'm kidding. You don't have to lay on the floor. Everything is but decision by choice. You're the only one who knows the true answers, okay? Are you ready? So would you rather visit the doctor or would you rather visit the dentist? Doctor, dentist, okay? Would you rather eat broccoli or eat carrots? Broccoli, carrots, okay? Make sure you look around the room and see who else eats carrots and broccoli. <laughs> okay. Would you rather watch TV or listen to music? Okay. Would you rather own a lizard or a snake? <laughs> I, I see some. <laughs> there was like this whole shiver thing and everybody was like, how do I get on the floor? Nobody wants either. Would you rather uh, be the most popular person you know or the smartest person you know? Right? Everybody's like, wow, right? <laughs> Would you rather not be able to hear or not be able to see? Not be able to hear or not be able to see? Would you rather see the future or change the past? <laughs> There's some pretty assertive sitting just happened. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Okay. Would you rather be three inches taller or three inches shorter? If you want to be taller, stand. If you want to be shorter, sit. Okay. Okay, here's, here's a good one. Would you rather eliminate hunger or would you rather create lasting world peace? 
Are we laying on the floor again? Like, what's going on here, right? Right, so eliminate hunger, lasting world peace. Okay. And last but not least, would you rather wrestle a lion or fight a shark? Wrestle a lion or fight a shark? <laughs> okay, that's great. If everybody could sit down. It's really important. Icebreakers are a really good indicator for what youth need when they walk into a room. Youth need connections. There's no hiding that. Every one of you in the room today can say very clearly that you know of a youth you've connected with in your lifetime. Right? Is that safe to say? Nods of acknowledgement. Perfect. Right? Um, youth need that connection. And the energy in the room actually just shifted because now some of you are thinking, wow, you know, nobody in the room wants to be popular. Everybody wants to be smart. Right? For whatever reasons. But now we're starting to make connections and starting to work together. And that's what uh, youth need. Youth need to be able to make those connections without uh, any question.